G'day. Welcome back to Flow Zooms Corner. Today, we're going to take, in something, take a look at something a bit special to my heart, a bit dear to my uh, passion, I guess you could say, and um, a gift from my little brother. It is the 600D Canon DSLR. And it is one nifty little camera. It's a bit long in the tooth now. Uh, not mistaken, it is a 2014 model. Let me just verify that. Twenty eleven. The camera came out in twenty eleven. That is ten years ago now. Now that is an astonishing amount of time for technology and just goes to show how good this little model was when it first came out. Because the features that it's packed with are numerous and, and just what the uh, beginner photographer really needs. Now this was my little brother's as I said and uh, he gifted it to me and then I got into photography basically and it progressed down the line and I sort of went on to get into Sony stuff because I found the Canon stuff that was on the market at the time didn't quite fit my applications as well as the Sony did. Now the feature sets that this has got don't differ so much from what I've got on my A6400 as far as what's possible to get out of the camera. Now it does, the 6400 certainly does have a, a fair few features that, that beat the pants off this and you know low light capability is one of those things that this is very shocking at. Uh, the, the noise that it encounters is, is, is beyond usable basically. But that's not to say that I haven't got some really good low light shots out of it, including some uh, astronomy based shots that are, you know, they're, they're decent. They've got a little bit of noise in them, a little bit of like um, chromatic aberrations and stuff like that. But realistically, still good shots. Uh, I've just got the kit lens on there at the moment. This is the 18 to 55. Uh, 3.5 to 5.6 f 3.5 to 5.6 and we've also got the other kit lens which is the 55 to 250 both these lenses are image stabilized which is a feature that you just can't get enough of once you get used to uh, let's have a look at the body on here so on the side here we've got headphone uh, sorry microphone external microphone jack and the uh, cable connector for the shutter control for the Canon system, sort of thing like what you'd use for interval uh, exposure and stuff like that. Um, then next to that we've got another little flappy thing, the little flappy thing on this one actually disappeared one day and I don't know what happened to it. We've got another little flappy thing here and basically behind that we've got a mini HDMI port and another digital out port for AV video. Then we move around the back and we've got a full articulating flip screen. I can't tell you how lovely that is. Well, I can tell you how lovely that is. It is insane. You're getting angles like this, you know, getting round, round on stuff, getting down low on stuff. You know, it's just, it's so good having that getting up high. A6400 doesn't have that, it has a flip straight up screen, so unfortunately you don't get the same articulated angles that you can get out of this. On the back we've got menu, info, direct, the EVF, rectical, um, pictures mode or recording mode. Uh, that's the record button just there, so it's in a nice little spot when your hand's in the grip location to be able to get onto the record button, which is fantastic. Basic selection menus on the, on the back here for you know moving around the menus and stuff like that. Uh, view cycling, um, viewing at scroll wheel for well dial wheel I should say for selecting your different picture modes. You got all your automated settings like sports modes and macros and and, and portraits and stuff like that. Uh, display button, ISO button, uh, multifunction uh, selector, click wheel. Great, great positioning for these these few buttons here and stuff like that. It allows for the functionality switches really easy on the go when you're just dialing in the shot that you're you know you're looking to get on the manual settings. Um, the one thing I don't like is to control the aperture, the iris setting like that. You actually hold down 
the AV, it was the AV or Q button on the back here, it's one of these two buttons, and then move the, the multifunction selector wheel. And it's just, it's a little cumbersome to, to get, to use basically, but you know, it's not impossible. It's just not as free, as nice as like, uh, an individual wheel or control surface goes. The grip is so ergonomically wonderful, it's not funny. This has one of the best functional camera grips I think I've ever picked up. The only one that I can say that I know is better than it is the Canon EOS RP. That grip is exceptionally well made and is not that far different from this grip as far as design characteristics and dimensions go. This just feels like a camera should in your hand. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, and then this flips up and we got a flash in here. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the overview on the camera. We'll uh, flip over and get some footage out of it in a second and see what you think. I'll do a bit of movie, I'll do a bit of picture and we'll give you a bit of a rundown on how it should picks up on both. Let's go, here we are. Alright, so here we can see a, a screenshot of the back of the camera, back of the 600D. And on it we've got some of the more helpful information like up the top, where's my finger, here. This is the sound, it's showing the equalizer setting sort of thing, like from the internal mic at the moment, but you can change that to select whichever mic operation you want, or a combination of both. Then there's the uh, temperature, internal temperature of the camera. Very helpful to knowing, keeping your temperatures down, watching, making sure it's all operating in the right kind of conditions. Then we've got the amount of storage space that's remaining on the card. The operating focal distance that we're at at the moment. The image stabilization is turned on. The F aperture. The shutter speed. The ISO. The Kelvin. And... I'm not sure what 1.82 meters is down the bottom there. Or 1.82... Yeah, M is down the bottom. Maybe that's minimum focal distance. No, that can't be right because you can focus it fairly, fairly close. And then, of course, we've got autofocus and the, the battery indicator. And basically, uh, just a bit of playback from me messing around with the focal distances and stuff like that with the, on the lens and making it try to seem like it's breathing in and out don't know what I was doing, just messing around basically picture of my uh, streaming camera Yeah, a picture of the streaming camera and the gimbal next to it. Oh. So, yeah. yeah. You can see we've got autofocus. If you half press the shutter button, if I half press the shutter button down, it goes into autofocus. You get a green box on the screen and that's ready to shoot. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Wonderful AC, uh, a uh, wonderful Canon 600D. Lots of sixes in the digits of things that I own. All right, well, we'll uh, cut to some some demo clip of, of on the uh, 600D now. Okay, so this is just a bit of a free-flowing test on the 600D, just showing you some of the optical capabilities, you know, with the, bit of the vlogging system style here. Now this doesn't have continuous autofocus, so I've just sort of set the focus at about this sort of range. Hopefully it's, it's stayed in focus.
focus, basically. This looks like it is. Uh, otherwise, we'll, uh, we'll just get a few little shots. As you can see, this image stabilized lens makes up a huge, huge difference with the stability of walking around with the camera. Unfortunately, my more expensive lenses don't have image stabilization in them for the Canon and therefore don't offer the same freedom. Alright. And there we have it, and that's the uh, Canon 600D, a bit of an optical test. Now the other thing I need to mention here is this has got the enhanced Cine Profile uh, log on there, so this will be graded when you see it, as the, the, the raw format is quite uh, lacking in rich definition, but higher dynamic range. So. To get the most out of it, you need to grade it. Then that'll be all done when you see the finished image and back to the studio. Well, so that was a bit of a demo from the 600D. What do you all think? Maybe leave some comments down below. Hit the like, subscribe if you want to, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Catch gotcha. you.